everyone, welcome back to Ram's Tutorial. If you are new here in my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're updated in our latest tutorials. So today guys, we're going to discuss different topics. So welcome back again to Ram's Tutorial! How many nines are in 81? How many nines are in 81? You need to divide it. How many nines are in 81? Okay? 81 divided by 9. Okay, that's number 5. So, 1 to 4 is correct. Remember, our topic today is all about getting how to divide word problem. Again, I'll repeat. How many equal groups of 5 are in 40? That's number 1. Uh, 2. How many equal groups of 8 are in 24? 3. How many 3's are in 8 10? 4. How many 7's are in 35? How many 9's are in 81? Very good! Your answer is 9, Reggie. Very good! How many 9 are in 81? That's 9. Next, letter B na tayo, G. Letter B, we have write division sentence for each item. Number one. Number one, G. Number one. 48 pupils. Eight in each group. Pupils in each group. That means to say, G, you are going to do like this. Look at first. You do like this first, like that. Say, for example, like that. 21 divided 7. This is what we call division sentence, okay? You make like that. Okay, so our problem number one is 48 pupils in each group, okay? Gawin mong ganito. You can do like this. You are going to show me like this, okay? That's 48 pupils in each group, opo. You jot down first, then you send it back to me. That's number one. For our number two, I'm going to write. Okay, so number two, take note. You can read it. I'm going to type for number two. Okay, number two, we have 63 Cub Scouts. Look out for my type there. So nine in each group okay nine in each group that is point number two 63 cub scouts nine in each group about 63 that's number 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 two very good you can read it so for number three 45 so we have 45 mangoes. Okay. 45 mangoes. Okay. Ne okay, next. Look at. I'll send it later. So take note of that. Okay. That's for number three. Can you read it? 45 mangoes. Five in each basket. You have to do division sentence properly. We're going to proceed to number four. Check it properly na 21 children. Then seven in each group. That's number four. That's our number four. For num okay. Next, number four. 21 children, seven in each group. That was number four. Number three, that's correct. 45 mangoes, five in its baskets. That is nine. That's very absolutely correct. Your answer, Rigi. Next, number four. The next is number five. 56 books. Okay, try to answer number 4G. 56 books. 
then eight in each table very good very good your answer is correct number five the last number for our word problem 56 books that is 56 only 56 books eight in each table what is the answer okay very good Rigi. okay next letter c na tayo naka letter c po okay you have to read or we are going to continue our discussion letter c first give what is being asked okay po yes what yeah okay you don't need to ask i'll just make a document documentation for our work okay let's proceed to the next number of questions we have yeah give what is being asked so we're going to proceed to the next word problem so we have 30 books, 6 in each shelves. Okay, that's number 1. 30 books, then 6 in each shelves. You're going to write division sentence for that particular questions that's for number one or continuation for letter b that's letter c okay next is that okay very good five is our answer for number one or that's letter c next number to reg number two Twenty four baskets, then six of them are in the tables. Okay, that's number two, Rigi. Twenty four baskets, six of them are in the tables. That's word problem number two. You give what we call the division sentence for it. And then please answer. Yeah. Yeah, Rigi, please can do it. That was for number three. Next for number three. That's word problem now. Remember word problem. This is what we call the very uh, a unique techniques towards students and teachers in order that students could learn a lot out of this and how you are going to answer the questions. Number three tayo na. 25 mangoes 5 students each Okay, please concentrate Rigi. That was number 3 Rigi. Please read 25 mangoes 5 students each. Okay, give the division sentence and answer that. Find the quotient. Next number 4 64 yeah that's very good 5 okay 64 pupils went to church yeah that's good it of them Okay, number four. Sixty-four pupils went to church. Eight of them will arrive. Okay, give it your answer. That's for number four. Next, number five. 
So we have. Yeah? We have very good. 64 divided by 8. Yeah, that's correct. That is a division sentence. Nice idea, G. You got it. Right answer. So you have to think first the right quotient for that. Think of it first. Then we're going to proceed to number 5. Wow, very good, Rigi. You got the right answer. Okay, please wait for our number five. For its students, solve the equation. Equation means problem. Equations, then six of them answered well. Okay. Let's drop it. Enter. That's good. Number five. For each student, solve the equation. Six of them answered well. Okay. What is the division sentence? And the quotient, of course. That's for our, what we call, Drigi, activity from one to three. Okay. Hope you enjoyed it. And please wait for our assignment. Okay. Thank you for your watching. Wow, very good. That's correct, Regi. Thank you. Okay, wait for our assignment and continuation drill. We are going to start. Okay, very good. Number one. 10 divided by 2. That was our oral recitation. 10 divided by 2. 10 divided by 2. How many... Divided by 2. Divided by 2. Okay. How many? 2 and 10. Ilang 2 sa 10. How many? 2 and 10. That's easy. 10 divide 2. That was our oral. Very good. You got 5 points. Very good. Next, number 2. I think you can answer it. 20 divide 4. How many 4 in 20? 20 divide 4. Twenty divide 4. 5. Very good. Next. 15 divide 3. 15 divide 3. 3. 15 divide 3. 3. Very good. Next, how about 16 divide 2? 16 divided by 2. Divide 2. Yeah. How many? 2 and 16. That's 16 divided by 2. 8 is correct. Next is 12 divided by 4. 12 divided by 4. Yeah, 12. 1, 2. 12 divided by 4. Divided by 4. Very good. 12 divided by 4, the answer is 3. That's absolutely correct. What about uh, 28 divided by 7? 2, 8. 28 divided by 7. That's 28 divided by 7. Wow, very good. That's an absolutely oral recitation. The next number, we have, how about 40 divide 8? 40. 40 divide 8. 40 divide 8. Five. Wow, very good, Regi. Next, for our last oral recitation, we have, I think you can answer this one, is 27 divided by 9. 27 divided by 9. Twenty-seven 
Very good. Okay. Thank you again, Reggie. And see you tomorrow. And please stay there because I will give you our assignment today. And you can present that tomorrow. Okay? Wait for a minute for our assignment.